Welcome here to Talk FCB and welcome back here to another news roundup on the channel and of course we are going to be discussing once again Neymar Jr. and the reason that I am coming back video now after video, the simple reason for that is usually I wouldn't do it because usually there's a rumours that are recycled and recycled by the Spanish media but the thing is right now with Neymar, every single day we're uncovering new information, every single day this is moving forward very, very quickly and what I want to do is just keep you guys updated with how things are going on. What I'm going to do after this video, the next video I'm going to be working on, is a Neymar positives and negatives video. It's going to be my own opinion, how we feel about it, the good things and the bad things, all in one video. But right here today, we're going to be discussing the very, very latest. Because right now, it's getting very, very interesting. And of course, with the Neymar Jr. return situation, the reports originated in France, with Le Keep coming out and stating that PSG were ready to sell Neymar this summer. And since that report, really, this story has spread like wildfire from the Brazilian press to the local media in Barcelona. There is no doubt whatsoever now, in my mind, that Barcelona, if this were to happen, if PSG wanted to let him go, Barcelona would be 100% interested in the possibility of Neymar returning to the club. And above all else, I really do believe also so that Neymar himself is desperate, and I mean desperate, to return this summer. So what we're going to do now is go over the local media, the latest reports, because this right here is a situation that, like I say, is developing minute upon minute. And we start here with Munadet, what he was covered this morning, which I have to say was big, big words straight from the off. It comes out here with a top secret report. That's what they're branding it. And it basically says, Neymar's words to PSG are the following. I don't want to continue here. I want to return home where I never should have left. And he there is talking about Barcelona. He wants to leave Paris. He doesn't want to play there for PSG. He wants to return to Barcelona. And then it goes on with something even stronger, with El Mundo claiming that Lionel Messi has personally requested the signing of Neymar from Bartomeu. And the first thing I want to say about this report is, number one, I feel right there, straight off the bat, that is unreliable. I don't personally think that Messi would demand anything or even request a signing there of his own personal nature. I don't think Messi is going to be going to Bartomeu and putting anything on the table and asking him to do anything specific. He's not that kind of player. He's not that kind of person. He's not going to do something like that. So that article there for me is unreliable. However, a story I feel has been slightly overlooked in all this because El Mundo coming out there with a big headline, Messi demands Neymar to return. That, of course, is going to get the clicks. That's going to get you reading it. But I want to talk about something here from sport, which is a little bit more low-key, but something very interesting indeed. And actually mentions a meeting at Messi's house just 11 days after our loss to Liverpool and the meeting there was between Messi and Bartomeu. Basically it was after the Champions League gave it, there was a lot of fury, there was a lot of people of course who wanted Ernesto Valverde's head and basically Bartomeu went to Messi's house to visit him to basically get the perspective of the Barcelona players. What are they feeling? How does he feel personally? How should we continue? And what is the feeling from the dressing room? And sport are actually reaching here. I don't feel as though this is definitely what happened. I think they're sort of putting two and two together and whether they're making four or not we just don't know right now. But according to sport Sport. Bartomeu in that meeting did speak about signing. He spoke about the perception of the squad, how they'd feel about that, how they would actually receive Neymar if he was to return to the club. And according to Sport, in that meeting, Messi would have reacted with a lot of good things. He would have actually said there, yes, we would receive Neymar well. Yes, we would be happy to have him return. And it's very interesting, actually. Sport continues in this article. They state a lot of bad things about Neymar, of course, his current reputation, the fact that Paris Saint-Germain don't want him at the club because of that extra baggage. And certainly, there are the negatives. But Sport actually end here by saying, look, it's all about Messi. Bartomeu in this situation wants Messi basically to retire at Barcelona to spend his final years, his final games with the club itself at the highest possible level and surrounded by the best team. And they actually say there, if they can work a deal to bring Neymar back to the benefit there of Messi, for the benefit of the team, somebody there to also handle that responsibility to help Messi out in these kind of occasions. It's about getting the best out of Messi and supporting him in his final years as a player. And if Messi welcomes Neymar, if Messi wants Neymar to return. And that there could be very, very key indeed. Maybe Messi hasn't asked for Neymar directly. I certainly don't think he's the kind of person to do that, to demand something, to really ask, bring Neymar back. But I do, in saying that, believe that Messi, particularly Messi, particularly Suarez, and probably the majority of the Barcelona group right now would actually favour a move for Neymar over Antoine Griezmann. Many of the squad were very upset about the way that Griezmann acted last summer in turning us down. And
And yes, Neymar has left. Neymar left in a bad way. You could certainly argue that. But at the same time, Messi, Suarez, still very, very good friends with Neymar. Messi, of course, in a radio interview before the Copa America started, actually came out and said, yes, I do have a WhatsApp group. In that group is myself, Neymar and Suarez, just us three in a WhatsApp group there. They're still very good friends. They often speak with each other. And I do believe because of those past experiences, we all know how much Messi enjoyed playing alongside Neymar. The same there for Suarez and even Neymar, of course, with Messi, with Suarez. It's that combination. Neymar himself enjoyed it massively. And that, for me, was what made Neymar's exit from Barcelona even more frustrating, given that partnership that he struck up with Messi, with Suarez, as that trident and the true friendships there that he had established. And yet he still wanted to throw all that away to join Paris Saint-Germain, but of course, now he's regretting that. And Sport there, on their cover, follow up there, on the dressing room, on their reaction to Neymar's possible return, on their cover this morning, it reads, the dressing room says yes to Neymar returning. And reportedly there, several of the current squad have actually sent messages in the past few hours, in the past few days to Neymar, talking about a return, talking about past experiences, things like that, with several key members of the squad believing that Neymar returning would significantly improve the quality of the team and in particular our aim of winning the Champions League and interestingly here very very crucially Marcelo Bechler Esporte Interativo reporter there the man of course who originally broke the Neymar to Paris Saint-Germain news back in 2017 he's come out and had his say on the Neymar return stories before he said that it wasn't impossible but it was very very complicated and right now he says Neymar is adamant that he wants to return to Barcelona he really really wants this and he also actually quotes the preference there of the dressing room. Marcelo Bechtas of the dressing room are very much behind Neymar and he also says something very interesting indeed and very very true. He says that preference there from the dressing room, how much the key players want Neymar to return, that is a really big driving factor behind a possible move. Simply because Bartomeu does tend to listen to the key players, to their opinions what they want. You think of course about the future of Ernesto Valverde, how that was decided after several of those key players came out in support of Valverde, the dressing room certainly have a big big bearing on what does happen certainly in these sort of instances and that there could point to Neymar's possible return. Betcher also goes on to say that Neymar's family are very key in this too they all want to live in Barcelona both for personal and also for professional reasons as well and he also says there Neymar's close family and friends they're actively trying on social media they're leaking things to the press they're trying to push the move they're trying to put pressure on the Barcelona board to act to bring Neymar back and actually accelerate there the process of his return. And right on cue here, here is an Instagram post with a picture there of Messi and Neymar back in the Barcelona days when they played together. And underneath that picture there on Instagram, Neymar's close friend, Gabriel Medina, actually replies there, I cannot wait. Make of that there exactly what you will. And finally there, just to ignite the fire a little bit more here, just to really accelerate this story out of control. Today, according to the local media in Barcelona, a meeting took place in Barcelona between Musa Sissoko, who's the agent of Usman Dembele, and the club itself. The subject of that meeting, as of right now, hasn't been disclosed. It's not actually been mentioned what that was about. But what we do know is, according to MD, Bartomeu, the president, was active in that meeting. He was there along with Dembele's agent. They were talking about something. What was that meeting about? What was discussed? And what could that mean with Dembele, of course, being one of those players who is going to be mentioned with regards to a swap deal? Is he going to be involved? Is he going to be going the other way with Neymar joining, perhaps in his place? And I think you'll all be with me there. And I think we can all agree we don't want to go down that road. Not with Dembele. Dembele should not be involved in this process. Dembele should not be sacrificed for the sake of Neymar. And I think certainly there, if Dembele was to be included, if Dembele was to be sacrificed, that would be by far one of the biggest negatives with regard to Neymar returning because certainly there are positives there are things that we can gain from it there are things certainly that will be good for the club if Neymar came back but at the same time there are also things that undoubtedly and you cannot deny would be bad we are going to be weighing those up the positives and the negatives directly alongside each other and dissecting really and deciding whether Neymar returning would be a good thing or Neymar returning would be a bad thing for Football Club Barcelona. And that video will be coming up as soon as I possibly can for you guys. But that, 
For today, at least, is where we are right now on the Neymar Jr. possible return to Barcelona situation. Now, a lot of people will think Neymar is a great guy. Bring him back. You enjoyed his time here. You want to see him again. A lot of people also will be thinking, no, keep this guy as far away from Barcelona as possible. And I completely understand that. And I want to hear both sides of that. If you want Neymar back, why do you want him back? And if you don't, let me know in the comments down below. And like I say, in the videos to come, we are going to be looking into this in a lot more detail. Because even if you're tired of this right now, even if you don't want Neymar, to return, I think we all have to accept this is a massive, massive story with regard to our club. Barcelona right now, this would be a big, big situation that we need to analyse and get every single angle so we can fully understand what is going on. Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. I will see you soon with more videos. But until next time, as always, Vizca El Barça. Oh.